Hi everyone, this video is going to talk about the Hour of Code, and that's a wonderful event that teaches students at a younger age to learn about computer science. Um, a lot of districts, a lot of schools across the, across the world, really, are going to be participating in this event, and it's an event that's happening next week. Uh, all of our buildings have scheduled out plans on, on when we are going to be doing the Hour of Code. Each building is going to do something slightly different, so we'll learn about it through your buildings, but I want to share with you uh, a great resource that's available for all of our students and it's easily accessible for us and our students. So this website is called From a Student Perspective. It is a website that we're building from the ground up that are going to be help videos for students and inevitably by students. Uh, right now students and their Chrome browsers they could click on the students folder and on the bottom they'll see From a Student Perspective. Here this will grow but the one top area is called coding from an hour of code. And when I click on that picture, it will take us to a coding resource website. This coding resource website is not only going to have a demonstration video about what the hour code is that you can present, um, that can be presented for students. It just broke. Very awesome. I thought like code is like FBI hacker symbols <laughs> and stuff. A little bit of problem solving, a little bit of logic. It's like instruction. Programming. So this, this website not only is going to have this little video here, but it's also going to have many different websites that students can be self-directed on how they're learning. They can click at any one of these and do any sort of practicum encoding. So we really want to keep kids to be uh, self-paced learners. So I have a few open here and all they really are are just logic bases. It's a challenge on being able to get, um, you have a problem in front of you, you need to solve it by using these coding blocks. So you should be able to even kind of add certain areas in here and then hit run and students can solve these challenges. So over time it gets challenging for our students and there's many different types out there for younger kids for them just to kind of learn their direction and just arrows as well as kids that are more advanced and more geared towards what they're interested in. So anyways when students have the ability to do this they all they need to do is go to from a student perspective click on coding and they have many different resources from the tryout even for us adults.